Je ne sais pas ce que ça veut dire. Je pensais que si vous avez entendu votre voix en Supernatural, parce que, par exemple, l'acteur qui dub you en France dub aussi Matt Damon et Patrick Dempsey. Ça veut dire que vous êtes Matt Dreamy en France. Yeah, you Patrick Dempsey. Yeah, no, yeah. no. <laughs> so awesome. is it is it yeah is it weird to hear foreign voice or is it cool? I don't know. What is? It's really like, fucking cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I met the in Barcelona in yeah Barcelona uh, maybe ten years ago. I met the what's that? Eleven years ago. Eleven years ago. That's it. Uh, I met the actor who dubbed me November 27th. Cagate. <laughs> that. That's good. That means shut up, right? Okay, good. Cagate. <laughs> Teasing. I love it. Uh, Tamil. Uh, so I, 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 I love it. I think it's so cool. So here's my first experience ever, 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 ever hearing myself dubbed. Uh, I was in China, and <laughs> yes, I was, in, I was in Beijing, uh, and it was 2006. Uh, we had just finished season one, and we had checked in, and uh, my buddy who was there, uh, we're like getting unpacked, and we throw the TV on, and I hear some. TV show in the background, or it's like a trailer for the TV show. My buddy's like, oh my god, 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 oh my god. And I'm like, what, 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 like, what's going on? And they go, look, 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 and look at the, the TV, and I look at the TV, and it's me! <laughs> Season one of Supernatural, in like 2006 or seven, whenever, seven, I, I don't know, uh, 2006 or seven, in the summer, I got to China, and I saw it in dubbed in Mandarin, uh, and I was like, that's the coolest thing that's ever happened. <laughs> I would pay for somebody to dub me. If anybody would like to dub me in any language, uh, just DM me. <laughs> Hit me up in the DMs, and uh, we'll make it happen. I, 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 I love that. Um, so, what are the two languages that you mentioned? French. French and? No. Just French. Okay. <laughs> I'm not accusing. <laughs> just inquiring. Uh, yeah, I love that. I, I'd love to meet the uh, the performer who, who does it as well. I love to watch it. Yeah. Is it a good voice? Yeah, it's very good. Very famous yeah. in France. Yeah. Is it such? So? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Thank you. <laughs> wow. Hi, I'm Jason. Um, Good to see you again, Jason. Thank you. Um, I started watching Supernatural. My brother got me watching Supernatural from the start season onwards, and when he heard that um, I would finally gone to a Supernatural convention, he even gave me his Supernatural necklace replica, just like Sam gave in the show. And I just one of the things that we both love about the show is that you, you both of you very convincingly throughout the entire history of the show always, you know, portray brothers in, in a believable way and an inspiring way and you've managed to, you know, go the distance over 15 seasons and even in the last season you're still completely believable as brothers and meeting you in real life you seem that way off screen as well. I wonder what, my question is, what's the secret that's kept you um, managing to do that over such a long period of time in the show, because you hear in other shows people not getting along, getting tired with each other, but you, you did it all the way through, and I was just wondering what is the secret to that. Goddamn, thank you. Um, I love that question. That's possibly a version of my favorite question that could ever be asked about Supernatural. Uh, I think it, and, and you talked about you have two brothers? Well, I have a brother and a half brother. Okay, okay. Well, my, my real brother, Anthony, um, who's a supernatural fan as well. Yeah, yeah. I think all I 
can say is, well, not all I can say. The main thing I can say is that whatever you see on camera, though Jensen and I were playing Sam and Dean Winchester, uh, Jensen and I weren't faking shit. It was it was real to us, and it's a it was a it was and still is an amazing life lesson that you, you get out of something what you put into it. You know, if, if you half-ass something, whether it's a friendship or a, a marriage or a, a, a profession or a diet or an excess regime, you're gonna get a half-ass results. If you just kind of go, oh, fuck it, I'm all in. And if I get hurt, I get hurt, and I'll, I'll abandon ship uh, and do something else. Uh, but he and I went all in. Like I think sometime during the pilot, and I wish I maybe I maybe I can think about it about when that moment happened. But I think Jensen and I both just went like, you know what? This is found family. Could be found family. Maybe Jensen turns out to be an asshole. Maybe I turn out to be an asshole. And if that happens, then I can reverse and put my guards back up and be like, okay, this guy's a, a jerk. Or vice versa, he can say, this guy's a jerk about me. Uh, but he and I both just kind of went like, all right, I'm gonna trust you. And he went, all right, I'm gonna trust you. We didn't say the words, but we just kind of had that communication, nonverbal, and went after it. And, and I, 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 to this day, love the guy like a brother. And you know, there, there are ups and downs. You know, if someone goes through something in their life, and like, I, I'll, I'll speak of myself. Uh, sometimes, when I'm super stressed out, I can be a little curt, a little maybe caustic, uh, a little snarky or, or uh, sarcastic or something. And your buddies around you, my buddies around me rather, kind of have to be like, hey, you're kind of being a dickhead, man. Like, you're all right? And I have to go, no, I'm not all right. Like, I'm going through this, like, but, but having that trust. Um, and I think Jess and I found that, I know Jess and I found that with uh, Supernatural and the same Dean. And I love their relationship. Like, I want that for my, my two sons. I don't want the rebar. <laughs> I, I, I want them to just rely on each other. I heard a great quote, and maybe there's some parents out there as well, or people who have parents, which I think is most of us. My understanding of, uh, <laughs> anyways. Uh, it, there was a quote on the, uh, bastardize it. Uh, parents leave us too soon. Uh, children, uh, we're not around long enough for our children. Siblings are the ones we go through life with. Uh, and I think siblings can mean anything. If you're an only child, it's your, it's your friend. It's your buddy. Like, you, you, you need a partner. You, you need two people in that robot. Just somebody, it doesn't need to be somebody who's there every day, but like somebody you can just go like, hey, I'm feeling like this. Not agree with all the time. Like, life is not about agreement. Otherwise, why go through life if you have nothing to learn, if everything you say is right? Uh, so I think we just trusted each other. And I, I don't know why, but you know, we held each other's careers in each other's hands, and we're like, all right, I got you, you got me? Yeah, I got you, you got me? Yeah, all right, let's work and get to work. Uh, but I love that you and your, your one and a half siblings, <laughs> two-ish, as I'm assuming, uh, uh, put you here today. So thanks a bunch. It was nice to meet you. Thank you. Yeah, sure. What's my favorite? Don't ask what's my favorite thing to do. Uh, I'm in Italy. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know. Well, first off, I want to say I will never forget uh, seeing you at the Austin Marathon with that sign. It was a shitty time in the marathon, and I felt the support, and so thank you. What? 
Yeah. Switch off, whatever. I, the, that, the song. Yeah. Yes. That would be. Got it. Um, but thank you. Um, with with storyline wise, I love um, I love Demon Jim. <laughs> She's not here. She's in the country. Uh, but uh, storyline-wise, I um, I liked. I'm a weird guy. I'm a nice guy. I'm a weird guy. I love being around people I love and trust that are intelligent. That I, when I grew up in high school, at least debating, and so sometimes I just want to say something, not because I mean it, because I want, but because I trust somebody else's intellect and I want to hear their reaction and response and I hope they want to hear mine as well. So I want to say, you know what, I think I think light should be outlawed. We should go back to candles. You know, this is bad for the environment. And someone says like, well no listen, because if you have candles it's, it takes energy for what like I, I, I like I like the minutia of what makes I like that. <laughs> Phones should be outlawed. <laughs> uh, so I, I, I like the back and forth. I like conflict. Like conflict is what storytelling is about often, and it's whatever the uh, whatever the remainder of well, after the conflict has been settled. It's whatever the remainder is that teaches the audience and to an extent the performers what the whole scene was about in the first place, and it's never what you think it's about. So I like that, but. Uh, as far as Angel Jen um, and Walker, uh, it's been fun to show her off to my uh, my Austin casting crew, uh, especially during the COVID days where no one was allowed. So I guess I, I, I guess I should say Angel Jen Emily, so she can come back season four. <laughs>
it's so cool to be here. And thank you, uh, especially from a lot of us who just flew in yesterday and are like, what time is it? I eat this guy. Uh, it's been nice to get all the love and all the energy. Thank you all for sending me your energy to get me through uh, a tiring uh, travel experience. Love you guys. See you guys.